Okay, Gimel Aleph. They are accounted trefa. They are these are accounted trefa in animals. An animal whose esophagus is punctured, whose trefa is severed, uh, the membrane of the brain was punctured, the heart was punctured into its cavity, the spine was broken, and its cord severed. If the liver was removed and nothing remains of it, if the lung was punctured or if it was deficient, Reb Shimon says not unless uh, it penetrates to the bronchia. If the absorbent was punctured, if the gallbladder was punctured, the intestines were punctured, uh, the inner pouch was punctured, or the greater part or the outer one was torn, but Yehuda says in a large animal, a hand breath, and a small animal, the greater part. If the uh, almost some was, or the reticulum was punctured or to the outside or it fell from a roof, if most of the ribs were broken or one that was caught by a wolf, Rabbi Yehuda says uh, one that was caught by a wolf is trefer in the case of small animals, but only if it's clawed by a lion in the case of large animals. One that was clawed by a net in the case of a small fowl or one that was caught by a geese in the case of large fowl. This is the general rule. If an animal with a similar defect cannot live, it's trefer. And the following are kosher in animals. If the trachea was punctured or slit, how much may be missing? Rabbi Shimon Begamil says up to the size of an Italian isser. The skull was cracked, but the membrane of the brain was not punctured. If the heart was punctured, but not into its cavity. The spinal column was broken, but the cord was not severed. The liver was removed, but an olive-sized piece remains. The uh, omasum and the reticulum were punctured into one another. And the spleen was removed. The kidneys were removed. The lower jaw was removed. The uterus was removed, or the lung is shriveled through non-human agency. One whose skin is flayed, the red may may declares it fit, and the sages declare it unfit. And these are the accounted trefer in fowl. A fowl whose esophagus is punctured or whose trachea is severed, or a wheel, if a wheel struck it in the head in a place where it renders the trefer, the gizzard was punctured, the intestines were punctured, the felons were fire, and its internal organs were scorched. If they were green, they are unfit. If they're red, they are fit. If one trod on it or locked, knocked it against a wall or an animal crushed it and it flutters and it remained alive for 24 hours and they slaughtered it, it is fit. Okay. All right. Eila Kasheris So um So having done, we, we did animals trafers, animals non trafers birds trafers, now birds non trafers Okay. Nikva Hagages, again, if there's simply a puncture in the windpipe, or Shinistika, or it's slit vertically, same as with a, with a behemoth. So just the converse of what we learned in the previous mission of the weasel, the weasel bit it on the head, but in a place that doesn't make it into a trefer. Nikav hazefik, if the crop was punctured, but not if it's missing. Rabbi Yomer, afilu nital. But Rabbi Yehuda Nasi says, um, even if the crop is completely removed, it's not a trefer. Um, although that's not the halacha. Yatsu b'nei me'eha. If the if it's uh, if its intestines projected, like they 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 fell out the law nikvu, but they were not punctured. Now this this is also true by the way of a behemoth, but they're just speaking of a more common case where uh, that that kind of injury would happen to a bird more more easily than to a behemoth. But if the intestines um, come, if if the animal gets a wound and the intestines project out, that's not a trefer unless the unless they're actually punctured. Nishtabru gapeha, if its wing was broken, or nishtabru agleha, or if its knee, if its leg was broken, that is below the knee, nimratu kanafeha, or if its uh, if its feathers were plucked, um, I have personal experience of that from a from a uh, from a cat of ours that caught a bird, um, and uh, and actually was sitting there plucking its feathers while it was still alive. Oops. So we, we rescued the bird. And kept it in the cage, and the and the feathers grew back, and and the bird survived. So oh, we released it back desktop? into the wild again a few weeks later. Oh, what happened to my desktop? Can you see me? Mm -hmm. I can't see you. What's I see you. Where did it go? Oh, let me see if I can get it back this way. I'm sure you can. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah. Back. Okay. You know, I, never thought, I, I never thought of, of a, a bird, a chicken. I never thought. Of, I never thought of this before. But that they had intestines. I never thought of that. Yes. You know, you know, <laughs> if you've got cats, then you know that birds have intestines. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, luckily, I haven't been in that situation yet where they, they haven't gotten any birds because they can't get out. So, you know. uh, okay. Uh, so, Rabbi Yehuda disagrees. He says, if the, he says, if the 
uh, the thin, well, the, the soft downy feathers of the of of the um, that are on on the body of the bird are are taken are are removed, then it is called a trefer, just like uh, similar to the uh, the gluda, the, the animal that was flayed um, uh, that we saw two mishnayos ago. But the halach is not like Rabbi Yehuda. Okay, achuzas had done. So if an animal has um, to has to, uh, it's I, I mean I don't know what uh, what what the science is behind um, uh, behind this uh, if this if Saddam is actually a real veterinary disease but it's got too much blood and it became sick mm. uh, that's a real thing Baham uh, if it was smoked a smoked animal okay no, it got uh, it it got basically smoke inhalation a oh. mitzun in it if it uh, became um, it became sick because of uh, because of cold. Sheachla uh, hardafuni, or it ate oleander. Sheachla tzoas taranegolim, or it ate chicken feces. Or sheshasa mayim harayim, or it drank uh, bad water. Well, mayim megulin is what uh, Kahati explains that it was left it was left open, and there's a there's a concern that, that a snake drank from it. All of these are kasher. If you shechted that animal. And uh, that's not called uh, that's not called a trefer at all. Okay, achla sam hamaves. However, if it ate poison, or she hikisha nachash, or or a um, a snake actually bit it, muteris mishum trefer. It's not called a trefer. Vaasura mishum sakanas nefashos. Much more important is the the danger involved, um, and um, maybe the poison. I mean, in terms of in terms of the actual damage to a person, um, it's very, very unlikely that a snake biting an animal would render that animal poisonous to a human. Just from what I understand, especially since um, snake venom is only dangerous if you if it gets into your bloodstream, not into your digestive system. Uh -huh. right. There was actually... Um, there was actually one guy who used to go around impressing all the tribes in Africa by getting poisonous snakes and you know, squeezing their heads to you know, to get the venom mm -hmm. out and drinking the venom. And the, the natives were impressed. As long as, but, as, long as he doesn't have uh, any uh, sores in his mouth or ulcers or anything like that, he's going to be fine. Because your stomach juices will deal with the, the venom, no problem. Uh, I don't really want to think about it. Just, just, mm. just. Okay, Simane Bahema Vachaya Nemru Min Hatora. The the Samanim of Kashras of a um, of a Bahema and a Chaya. Those are very clear. We we uh, the Torah lays it out explicitly. It's got split hooves. It chews the cud. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's very clear. The Simane Ha'of Lo Nemru. But when it comes to Simanim of a bird, that was never said explicitly. All that we've got is a list of species that we know are not kosher. Right. Okay, so how do, so what are the simanim of uh, of birds that are kosher? Aval amru chachamim, we have a mesorah. Call off hadores tamei. First of all, any predatory birds, forget about it. That's not, uh, no, there are no kosher predatory birds. Okay, call shiyesh lo etzba yeseira. If it's got an extra finger, what's that extra finger? You've, you've got that little spur on the back of the chicken's leg. Right, so that's uh, so that's called the extra finger. That's a simon of kashras. The zephic, and it's got to have a crop. The kurkavano niklaf, and its stomach. When you cut it open, if it's if its uh, stomach has a membrane around it that that comes off. Um, it it oh, sorry no 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 that's not it. Sorry, let me read that again. A kiss the um uh, the stomach can can be peeled away from the flesh. Uh, by hand without without cutting it with a knife okay i don't have any experience of that with it with, with multiple kinds of birds yeah. but apparently it's a simon of kashras if it comes away if the if the stomach comes away easily from the from the rest of the flesh okay rabbi eliezer bar tzadok omer kol of hacholek esraglav tame says there's another simon of not being kosher is that if it's if the bird sits with two with two um with two toes forward and two toes backwards, like a parrot. And you see how parrots, I've seen this with parrots sitting on a perch. They've got two toes that go around the front and two, the, and two around the back. And that's I a know, that. that's, now, that's now, now you say that, I take like a picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, and that's it for today. Okay. All right, we're going to talk about Minakos. Let's talk about Minakos. New Minakos today. Let's talk about the old yes, Minakos. Okay. Okay, Aleph Aleph. All Minka offerings was committed. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, let's start with Yud Gimel Ches. And the new ones? Oh, oh I'm talking. When I said new, I meant they do because we're going to do Minakos again. We're starting it. That's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so you'd give all, no, I guess, <clears throat> excuse me. If he said, I take upon myself to bring an ox, he must bring it and it's libation offering for a mana. A calf, he must bring it and it's libation offering for five. A ram, he must bring it libation offering for two. A lamb, he must bring it and it's libation offering for a seller. If he said an ox for a mana, he must bring it for a mana besides his libation offering. A calf for five, he must bring it five besides his lib libation offering. A ram for two, you must bring it for two besides libation offering, and a um, a, 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 um right, right, and a lamb for a seller, you must bring it for a seller besides the libation offering. If he said an ox for a mana and he brought two for a mana, he has not fulfilled his obligation, even if each is for a mana less than a dinner. Black and he brought a white, or white and he brought black. Large and he brought a small, and small and he, has, and small and he has not fulfilled his obligation. Small, he had brought a large one and he has fulfilled his obligation. Bevy says he has not fulfilled his obligation. This ox shall be an old offering and it became blemished. If he wishes, he may bring two for its money. These two oxen shall uh, be an old offering and it became blemished. If he wishes, he may bring one with their money. Uh, Rebbe prohibits. This ram shall be an old offering and it became blemished. If he wishes, he may bring a lamb with the money. This lamb shall be an old offering and it became blemished. If he wishes, he may bring a ram with its money. And Rebbe prohibits it. If one said, one of my lambs shall be consecrated, or if one of my oxen shall be consecrated, if he had two, the larger of them is consecrated. If he had three, the middle one of them is consecrated. If he said, I specify, but I do not know which I specified, or he said, my father told me, but I do not know which, the largest of them is consecrated. If one said, I take upon myself to bring an old offering, he must offer it to the holy temple, and he offered it in the temple of Kono, uh, he has not fulfilled his obligation. That I shall offer it the temple of Kanyo, he should offer it in the holy temple, but if he offered it in the temple of Kanyo, he has fulfilled his obligation. If Shimon says, this is not an Ola offering. If one said, I'm at Nazir, he must shave in the Holy Temple. And if he shaves in the Temple of Kanyo, he has not fulfilled his obligation. That I shall shave in the Temple of Kanyo, he should shave in the Holy Temple. But if he shaves in the Temple of Kanyo, he has fulfilled his obligation. And if Shimon says, this is not a Nazir. The Kohanim who served in the Temple of Kanyo may not serve in the Holy Temple in Yushalayim. And certainly if they served another thing, as it is stated, but the Kahanim of the Baba places would not be allowed to come up to the altar of Hashem and Yushalayim. However, they ate matzah among their brothers. They are like those who are blemished, or those share and eat, but do not offer. Okay. okay. All right, then tomorrow we'll begin again with, with the Chulin. Oh. All right, let's go to Zvachim. Wait a second, we have, are we starting with Menachos so we again? Do, we, do, we are going to do Menachos again, So let's, but let's just finish off Zvachim, and then we'll move on to Menachos. Okay. Uh, let me see what they are. So we'll start with again tomorrow. Okay. Um, Yud, Dalit, Yud. These are the offerings that must be offered at the tabernacle offerings, which were consecrated for the tabernacle communal sacrifices. I'm sorry, tabernacle. Communal sacrifices must be offered in the tabernacle. While an individual's offerings may be offered at a minor bama. The individual's offerings which were consecrated for the tabernacle must be offered at the tabernacle, but if he offered them at the minor bama, he is not liable. While there are differences between a private bomber and a communal bomber, I lean slaughter in the north, application of the blood all around the altar uh, to Rufa, and bringing near Rabbi Huda says, Minka offerings are not put out of bomber and Kanhuna, baker vestments and baker vessels, a pleasant, pleasing aroma, a separation regarding blood and washing the hands and feet, but the disqualification due to the intent and to the time or intent, Nosa and Tame are the same for both. Okay, now we can do Menachos. Aleph, Aleph. All men the offerings with Kimitsu was performed for the sake of the designation other than their own are valid, but they are not credited to the owner as fulfillment of his obligation, except for the sinner's Minka offering and the jealousy Minka offering. If one performed the Kimitsu of the sinner's Minka offering or the jealousy Minka offering for the sake of a designation other than their own, or he placed them in a vessel, or he ca or carried them or burnt them on the altar for a designation other than their own or for their own designation 
and the designation other than their own for a designation other than their own as well as their own declaration, they are valid. What is an example of their own designation and a designation other than their own for the sake of a sinner's mikvah offering or for the sake of a voluntary mikvah offering? What is an example of for the designation other than their own as well as a designation? Their own designation for the sake of a voluntary mikvah offering as well as for the sake of a sinner's mikvah offering. The sin is mental offering as well as any other mental offering whose kibitzah was performed by a non Kohen or a Onan or a Temple Yom, who, who lacks, one who lacks vest, vestments or one who lacks a torment, whose hands and feet have not been washed or is uncircumcised or his tummy and it was sitting or standing upon utensils or an animal or its colleague's feet is invalid. If one performed kibitzah with the left hand, he is invalidated. Remember, Sarah says he should replace it and perform kibitzah again with the right hand. If he performed Kamisa and the pebble came into his hand or a grain of salt and a part of a frankincense, he has invalidated it because they said the comet which is excessive or deficient is invalid. Which is excessive, one in which he removed the heap comet, which is deficient, one in which he performed Kamisa with his fingertips. How does he do it? He extends his fingers over the palm of his hand. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. All of tests. Even in a place where they said it is permitted to rent, they did not save, uh, save so for them twice a dwelling because it brings idols into it. As it is written, do not bring an abomination into your house. In any place, you should not rent to a bathhouse because it is called by his name. One may not stable an animal in the ends of idolaters because they are suspect to regard to bestiality. Nor may a woman be alone with them because they are suspect to regard to immorality. Nor may a person be alone with them because they are suspect to regard to murder. A Jewess should not assist an idolatrist in childbirth because she causes the child to be born to idolatry, but an idolatrous woman may assist a Jewishness in childbirth. A Jewish Jewish Jewishess should not nurse the child of an idolatrous, idolatrous woman, but an idolatrous woman may nurse the child of a Jewish in her domain. One what um that's interesting because by Moshe Yes. Right. But that was a, a unique thing by Moshe. Yeah. One may seek medical treatment, literally healing from them for his possessions, literally for healing possessions, but not for personal healing. One may not take haircuts from them in any place. These are the words of Reb Mayer. But they can come and say in a public place it is permitted, but not in a private between him and him. Okay. All right. So not here. Okay. That's Aleph. To the germ to whom an interval said, I saw that one of you became Tommy, but I don't know which one of you. They both shaved. But if I but if I was the one who was Tahara, the sacrifice for Tahara, Tahara was mine. The sacrifice Wait. for two did I skip a page? Skip Wait, I did, I did. I'm sorry. Let me go back. To the germ who to whom an interval said, I saw that one of you became Tommy, but I don't know which one of you. They both shave and they bring jointly a sacrifice for Tuma and a sacrifice for Tahara. And one of the Nazirim says, If I am the one who was Tahara, the sacrifice for Tuma is mine and the sacrifice for Tahara is yours. But if I am the one who was Tahara, the sacrifice for Tahara is mine and the sacrifice for Tuma is yours. Then they count 30 days and bring jointly a sacrifice for Tahara. And he says, If I was the one who was Tahara, the sacrifice for Tuma was mine, the sacrifice for Tahara was yours. And if this is my sacrifice for Tahara, but if I was the one who was Tahara, the sacrifice for Tahara was mine. The sacrifice for Tuma was yours, and this is your sacrifice for Tahara. If one of them died, the Jew said, he should seek out someone from the street who will be who will be about to be a Nazar parallel to him and say, if I was somebody, you are a Nazar at once. And if I was if I was Tahara, you are a Nazar for 30 days. Then they count 30 days and bring Jordan a sacrifice for Tuma and sacrifice for Tahara. And he says, if I am the one who was Tahara, the sacrifice for Tuma is mine, and the sacrifice for Tahara is yours. But if I am the one who is Tahara, the sacrifice of Tahara is mine, and the sacrifice of Tuma is offered out of doubt. Then they count 30 days and bring John the sacrifice of Tahara, and he says, If I am the one who is Tahara, the sacrifice of Tuma is mine. The sacrifice of Tahara was yours, and this is my sacrifice of Tahara. But if I am the one who is Tahor, the sacrifice of Tahara was mine, the sacrifice of Tuma was offered out of doubt, and this is your sacrifice of Tahara. But Noma said to him, and who will listen to him to vow to be a Nazar parallel to him? Rather, he brings a bird as a sin offering and an animal as a birth offering and says, if I was Tameh, the sin offering is part of my obligation and the birth offering is voluntary. But if I was Tahua, the bird offering is part of my obligation and the sin offering is part of, out of doubt. And then he counts 30 days and brings the sacrifice to Tahara and says, 
If I was Tommy, the first birth offering was voluntary, and this one is my obligation. But if I was Tahor, the first birth offering was for my obligation, and this one is voluntary, and this one is the rest of my offering. We have Yeshua said, it results that this one brings the offerings power, peace meal, but the sages agree with Ben Zoma. And Nazia, who was in doubt whether he was Tommy, and in doubt also whether he was going to affirm the Zora, he may eat sacred foods after 60 days. And drink wine and contaminate himself with the tumor of the dead into 120 days because saving for the affliction of Taharas overrides saving for the zeros when the former is certain. But when it is doubtful, it does not override it. One more. Non Jews do not have the zeros, and women who enslaved do have the zeros. There is an aspect of greater stringency applying to women than to slaves, for one can force a slave to violate his zeros, but he cannot force his wife. There is an aspect of greater stringency applying to slaves than to women, because one can revoke his wife's vows, but he cannot revoke his slave's vows. If he revoked for his wife, he is revoked permanently. If he revoked for his slaves, if he went free, he completes his zeros. And if the slave passed from his master's presence, the mayor says he may not drink, but Red Rosa says he may drink. Aren't you? And if he set aside his Bukur, they were plundered or they decayed, was stolen or lost, and were rendered unclean, he brings others in their state to not, not recite. And the others are not liable to the added fifth because they became unclean in the temple court. He scatters them and does not recite. <laughs> and though and when do we know that he's responsible for them until he brings them to the temple mount? Because it is written, the first of the first fruits of your land you shall bring to the house of the Lord your God. This teaches that he's responsible for them until he brings them to the temple mount. And if he brought one of brought of one kind and recited, and then brought another kind, he does not recite. And these bring a recite from Shavuos to Sukkot, from the seven species, from the fruits of the mountains, from the dates of the valleys, that they from the olive oils from beyond the Jordan. Uh, and Yerav Yossi Akalili says, "What does not bring a corn from beyond the Jordan, so there is not a land flowing with milk and honey." Okay. And para. Para. Uh, hey, hey. We consecrate a mechatas in all types of vessels, even in dung vessels, stone vessels, and clay vessels. And we may consecrate mechatas in a boat. We cannot concentrate mechatas in the walls of a vessel, nor in the bottom of a mechat, nor in the cover of a, a barrel, nor in the palms of one's hands, because we cannot uh, draw water from mechatas, nor consecrate mechatas, nor sprinkle mechatas except with a vessel. Nothing is a sealed cover, nothing with a sealed cover protects. Contents from two other besides vessels, and nothing is protected from being red, um, from being bread and tummy in an earthenware vessel besides vessels. A potter's lamp of clay is qualified, but she disqualifies. Regarding a chicken's egg, when Maya and Rabbi Huda were qualified, but they're coming disqualified. And regarding a trough carved in a rock, we cannot draw water from from, from make contents from it, nor consecrate make contents in it, nor sprinkle make contents from it, and it does not require a sealed cover, and it does not qualify a vikra. If, if it was a vessel and one attached to the ground with plaster, and one may draw water from my contents from it, and consecrate my contents in it, and sprinkle my contents from it, and require a sealed covering, and it disqualifies a mikvah. If the bottom of the trough was perforated, he plugged the perforation with a rag, the water inside the trough is valid because it is not encircled. But a vessel, I'm sorry, uh, it's not encircled by a vessel. Uh, if one perforated this vessel in its side and plugged the perforation with a rag, the water inside it is valid since it's encircled by a vessel. If one made a room of clay for the trough and the water went there, it is invalid. If the room is strong enough that it can be carried with uh, with the trough, the water is valid. And that's it for today. I just want to get something straight before you go. Um, I didn't check this off yesterday. You, Friday will be our last day, right?